And get that shit out of here. Welcome to another spooky episode. We are um we've got got some new audio equipment. Hopefully I think it I think it'll sound a little bit better. And <laughs> we're gonna be doing a um... We just watched we just watched the original Halloween movie. This is the first movie Monday in a while. I wanna do more of these. But we actually don't have time to watch movies anymore. Yeah, they're really it's really hard to watch them. Um, so, uh, yeah, initial spoiler-free thoughts for people who have not seen it. It's been out since 1978. Um, <laughs> You've had, like, 40 years to watch yeah. it. So, uh, wow, that movie's yeah, 40 years old. That's crazy. This year. It's because the new one's coming out. I'm actually going to go see it tomorrow with my lady friend. Is that right, Patricia? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, like I didn't that, think it was very good. I like that cat. You know, I didn't think the movie was very good. Um, I thought it was all right. Uh, I liked it as a kid a lot. Um, it's actually Grace's favorite movie. Um, I I thought I think it's all right. Like there's there's yeah, it's you've got to kind of let the fact that it's you know forty years old. Uh, you you got to kind of think about that. But that doesn't that doesn't mean it ha- that doesn't give it. Credit The Wizard of Oz is still a good movie. Yeah, but I mean, it had like the same level of like acting, and it's also a student film. Halloween basically. started as a student film, essentially, um, and, um, so that kind of hinders it. John Carpenter and his girlfriend—I um, don't remember her name. She's a pretty big producer now. Johnette Carpenter. <laughs> she produced it. Um, they were together at the time. They're not. Put anymore. Patricia down. She doesn't like to be held. Um, but yeah, so she, they, they, they made it together when they were young and in love and in film school and, and now they they're neither of those things. They were very limited as to what they could do, um, because they didn't have money. So, I mean, it's understandable at points. For so was that like, was that be. like the first slasher movie or one of the first anyway? I mean, if you want to go like as far back as like Psycho, I mean, that is sort of a slasher movie. But I personally, I would like it's the first like supernatural serial killer type movie, you know, because yeah. like Norman Bates was just a crazy dude who was like, oh, I like my mom. And then he killed people and he stuffed his mom or whatever. Um, but what? I don't. Yeah. You've never seen Psycho? No. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah. So I, I'd my say it's crack. I'd say it's, it's probably one of the first slasher movies. Is is definitely Halloween. It's the first like instant classic. Okay. Movie. Well, I thought it was just okay. I mean, I'd say like if you're if you're if you're into that kind of thing, I'm not into that kind of thing really. Yeah. I don't, scary movies have always just been eh. I love scary movies. Except for The Conjuring. The Conjuring was pretty good. Some of my favorites. Conjuring was pretty good personally. Um, and then um. Yeah. I thought it was just okay. Okay. Well, spoiler so, free. So so it starts out, and I I immediately was like uh because. It starts off with little Michael Myers. He's like six, and he kills his sister. But like, the camera was high up, like it was a normal sized person, and I didn't like that. And not a six year old boy. Yeah, I mean, but that's like a small thing. That's just kind of like. No, that's a huge thing. What do you want the camera dude to do? Crouch down. Yes, if it's if it's supposed to be from the perspective of a six year old child, then it should be at the six year old child height. I guess, but that, man, that's hard. And you know, you know. They didn't have a lot of money in the budget, so you know he wasn't getting paid well. I mean, I guess. I don't know. That's just bothered me. You can't pay me enough to crouch down and walk around at this height with a heavy-ass camera. No way. I guess you're right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't mind that so much. Like, that's a small continuity error, <laughs> I guess. But um, small plot. It bothered me. And then the acting was... A little rough. It was subpar. It yes. was a little rough. There, there's times where it's really good. Jamie Lee Curtis is great. I like Jamie Lee Curtis. I, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is she probably definitely the only good actor. She definitely, you know, especially for that being her first movie. Except for Michael Myers, and he didn't talk, so. She definitely deserved all of the clout she got from being in that movie. Yeah, she she did pretty well. Definitely deserving of clout. And then there was the, the school thought. She was pretty good. Yeah, she's pretty thotty. Yeah. Didn't even... See full boobage on her, and she was the thottiest one. The two kids were pretty good too. They didn't have much. They didn't. They didn't have much character, but they were still pretty good. They were kids. And then that's where the acting stops. 
there's the psychiatrist guy. Donald was, Pleasance, he's a really he's who's he, that? He's the guy who plays the the doctor. And I don't I think like he was him. very good. I like him a lot. I think he's a good actor. But then the I think where it really the the scene that really stood out was the when they were in the car. When they're in the when they're in the car and uh the doctor and the woman mm-hmm. were in the and car. The nurse, yes. Yeah. That was a really poorly acted scene. Yeah, but uh, I, I can't be but so mad. Okay, you look, know. look. We are looking at this as a movie. As a movie, and not, yeah, okay. As something that they put out for people to watch. I think that not I mean, as a school project. Yeah. I guess I I guess I can see where you're coming from. But at the same I mean, time, yeah, if it's you like, look at it in the light of well, if you look at most movies from like that era, all the acting is like that. It's not like today where it's like gritty and like realistic. It's more like it's whoa, you know. It's like more. It's acting. It's not like acting. You know what I'm saying? If you look like no. at <laughs> any movie from that era, it's always like that. Uh, Terminator. That's more '80s though. Yeah, that's definitely '80s. I don't have. I don't have much. I don't have much experience with '70s movies. Uh, I have a little bit. Not like a ton. I'm more. Of, I'm an '80s movie guy for yeah. sure. If we're going decades, yeah. Um, Same or '90s. There's good '90s movies. Hmm. '90s was a weird era for film. Armageddon. Actually, yeah. I think that came out in 2000. I'm pretty sure. Um, I've never even seen Armageddon. We're gonna watch it one day. But yeah, so honestly, like, I don't really know where to go with this review because I don't really have any problems with the movie. You've seen when I have problems with the movie. I have. T- I had several problems with this movie. It we've was we've watched plenty of movies that I have problems with. Well, um, then we can just debate about it. I think it was stupid and it sucked. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't think it sucked. I think it was okay. I can see where it'd be slow at points. It's slow paced for sure. I mean, but I it's think it's spooky. It's not. It wasn't even it's though. Sp- it's spooky. It wasn't spooky. What I what I like about older horror movies, especially that one, is it it'll like you're also not watching it in an in an environment where you're supposed to be watching a spooky movie. If you get what I mean, it's like you know that's a movie like if you turn it on at night and you're by yourself and you're watching it, you're gonna be like, ooh, this is a little creepy. I do but have with like if you're you know, like you and I were watching it, it's like broad daylight and we're all, like making jokes, you know, kissing each other. It, that's different. But if you're like you know just chilling in your room alone at night and you're like, oh, I'm going to turn on this movie, you're going to be like, man, what if Michael Myers is in my closet right now? So I think... Maybe he can kill me and stop me from watching this movie. But what I love about those older movies is they give a genuine, like, they give a genuine sense of creepiness or spookiness without having to just throw in, like, 8,000 jump scares. And I like that. Or, like, a very horrendously disturbing image of something, you know, creepy. There doesn't have to be, like, a weird, like, clown dude. It's just like it's just a genuine sense of like wow someone's wa- like someone might be watching me right now. I like that. I always like that about older horror movies. I was like, nah, you make me look like an asshole. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like you can have your opinion. I don't care. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, but you know, it's like it's whatever, man. Like I think that it's genuinely spooky, um, and it's a classic. Anyway, and as I was saying, I think I think the characters were boring. They didn't really have anything going on for them. Yeah. You had the school thought. School you had thought. the other school thought. Other school thought. You had Jamie Lee Curtis. Cutie. The doctor. Yeah. The sheriff. The sheriff was a weird character. Like, I don't know if he was intentionally creepy and weird or he was just creepy and weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, like, if we're being honest, like, that's definitely the best one in the series. Um... I don't know. I have, I, for some reason, I have high hopes for the new one. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, I don't know if the new one's good or not yet. I haven't seen it. Um, but every, as far as I can tell, it's actually, everybody's saying it's really good. So, um, hopefully it's good. And then, um, my, they always kept saying people's names, but like, and they would say their full names. And they they just, what was his name? Uh, Brian Adams. <laughs> It was like, you could literally say any plain name. And like, like Brad yeah. Trent, Trentner or something like that. And they kept repeating his name over and over, yeah. and I'm like, but this means nothing to me. It was the character that they wanted uh, Lori to go out with. And, and then, um, attracted the to music him. was lit. I have to give the music yes. credit where credit is due. John for that Carpenter's, one guy, yeah. for that one guy to do that, it was pretty lit. He's, he's a, he, he, that's one of the things that was really good about that movie, is like, it, his, his music set the tone really well. It's like, it's, it's original, it's interesting, it's very of the era. 
Um, I wonder if my dad yelling just picked up on the mic. Maybe. <laughs> I'm, sh- I'm like, what if we're hardly picking up on the mic? It's up here now. It's on the, yeah, it's on the ceiling. It says gullible on the ceiling. <laughs> You're gullible. Oh. Um, Another big thing that bothered me was there was nobody in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say that they explained that in some way, shape, or form somewhere along the continuity, but I don't remember. Because the whole thing, they're like... Really what it comes down to is it was it was a student film and they can't pay for extras. Is really what it comes okay, down to. Yeah, but they should have explained it in that movie. Yeah, but how are they going to explain it? Like, everybody's on vacation. Yeah, they could have <laughs> like, said something stupid. Yeah, like, uh, everybody around Halloween goes on vacation. But then you'd be like, why does everybody on Halloween go around on vacation? Like, like... No, I wouldn't. I would. Yeah, you would. Okay, but you'd be like, "That's a stupid excuse." Okay, it would be a stupid excuse, but at least it'd be an excuse. It wouldn't be like, "Hey, it's Halloween, and we've been at three different houses, and not a single person has ever trick or treated in the entire movie." They were, they were, they were trick or treating at like four in the afternoon. Okay, yes, that was also weird. Forgot about that. But I mean, it's like. I don't know, Could maybe, just reuse those kids, those kids in different costumes. Maybe it's just oh, like maybe it's just of the era. And, like, I don't know what trick-or-treating was like back then. Nowadays, people do trick-or-treat around that time. This city that we're in right now has been on the news for... A lot. For a rep for, for a trick-or-treating stuff. Which is really, like, on, like, national news. Yeah. Okay, that's unrelated. Anyway. Well, there's, like, a bunch of stupid rules about trick-or-treating now. And they've never... And they're actual, and like, legitimate like, laws. Yeah, and people have been... They've, they've been talked about for years, but no one's ever actually enforced them. But yeah. now they're, like, making it on, like, national news. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to be all out on Halloween. Like, the cops are, like, everywhere on Halloween. And if you're... If, like, Which they're not. If you're, like, caught, like, trick-or-treating when you're above, like, what is it, 12, 12 years old? yeah. You get, like... You're in trouble, like a lot of trouble. Like they're not just gonna be like, oh, you know, that's just a warning. They're going to like fine you. I, I think, think it's like two hundred. I think, I it's think like they're a, bullshit. I want to say it's like a two hundred dollar fine. I think they're bullshit. It's pretty crazy, but um, yeah. I mean, they, I like maybe back in the seventies there was like a lot of regulations for trick or treating. But then again, they're all. I found know, this razor blade in my son's apple. Yeah. Cause needles and strawberries. Yeah, they want to say our Did generation is all like. Oh man, back in my day, we didn't wear we didn't wear helmets when we were biking, when we when we were on bikes, we didn't wear helmets. I'm like, yeah, that's probably why your kids are brain damaged. What? No, but you know what I mean. Like, it's like maybe there were, maybe that's the reason that there was nobody out trick or treating, or that, that they all trick or treated really early, and then once it got dark, they all went home. Maybe you know, maybe. But I mean, at the same time, she was also yelling through the neighborhood. And, you know, honestly, if somebody was running screaming through my neighborhood, I'd probably lock the door, too. I'd call the cops. No, if, like, a girl came out my door and was like, help me, and she had, like, a, cu- a cut on her, no, I would be like, I would be like, let me help this lady. i got to look out for me and my family. Man, if, if well, I... That's because you're an evil person. I'm not about to let somebody in, and then the killer's after all of us now. No, nah, she's the sacrifice, man. Like, he's either going to take one, or he's going to take everybody. And he's taking the one, okay? It ain't going to be me. Well, I mean, because... Never mind, I can't say that. I've seen too many, like, you know, I've seen too many other movies or TV shows where they're like, oh, help me, let me in. And then they help that person, let them in, and that person ends up being with the serial killer, and then they... A Clockwork Orange? Is that in that movie? That does happen, yeah. Yeah. Well, that also happens in, I want to say it happens in The Strangers, it happens in uh, this one Netflix movie that I saw, it happens in American Horror Story, um, Murder House, it happens in a lot of stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, why did... Okay, so, there are these girls. There's this girl and this dude. And they go into their friend's house to bang. And they're like, they're like, Annie, are you here? Oh, Annie's not here. Let's bang. And I don't know why that happened. <laughs> they saw an opportunity and they seized it, I guess. I mean, you know... It, 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 it's they're teenagers. They look like adults. They're probably like twenty two when they're filming it, but they're supposed to be playing teenagers. I would never bang in someone else's house. Well, that's just your moral standards. No, it's not even a moral. It's a comfort thing. I don't care about. Well, then that's your friendship. level of comfortability. If okay, you go to my house, uh huh, and no one's there, and you're like, let's just bang. Would you do that? It's not about me personally. It's about the characters. No. Yes, the characters are... And that's part of they it. They have to be realistic characters in a movie. That's Logan. part of it. They discussed this, and I believe they discussed this in Scary Movie, um, because they were that movie is really meta in how they're always talking about the rules of horror movies. And it, it's all about morality, okay? 
It's all about morality and who that character is. It's not about if I would do it. It's about that character. And, like, they always go over, like, you know, if that character's... Like, the reason that Jamie Lee Curtis survived is because she's a virgin. She's pure. What? It's it's like a, it's not it's not like that's the reason, but it's it's more like a like from a storytelling standpoint and from a character standpoint is she's not like you know a heathen a dirty dirty heathen. That's school thought. Like her thought <laughs> friends. Um. So it's it's like a it's like a morality thing. So it's not about whether I would do it or not, but it's about whether those characters would do it or not. And if those characters do it, then that means they're bad people, and that means they die. Is what I'm getting at. Just because I wouldn't go bang in someone's empty house doesn't mean someone else might not. You, we've met some crazy people. I could probably name at least five people right now that would do that shit. So, you know, whatever. And those people would die in the horror movies, and I would be Jamie Lee Curtis. You kind of look like Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> the Jamie Lee Curtis looks like Charlie Bucket in that movie, and I could not stop thinking about Don't- it. Hate on Jamie like that, bro. Put up, put a picture, mom. put a picture up of Jamie Lee Curtis and Charlie Bucket next to each other. That's my whole mom. Okay, like, bang, there they are. They're twins. I'm gonna put them in your hands like that. Yeah, cool. I can do that. <laughs> um, yeah. I pay twenty dollars a month for Photoshop. Final verdict. Well, we're done. Yeah, we're at like almost twenty minutes. Oh, I mean, is there any more points you want to talk about? <laughs> Gotta get out the list. I thought the writing was kind of dumb, but that's I think I've already explained that. Patricia doesn't like being held. Yes, she does. She likes being held by me. Yes, I do. (laughs) (laughs) Is there any more points? No. I give this movie... Oh, why do you have so many knives? Um, I give this movie five spooky knives out of ten. Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay, um, I, you know, just because, because I mean, looking back on it, I do see the issues with it, of course. Oh, but you were jerking it off like it was like it's the best movie ever. I was not. It's all about morality. <laughs> what are you talking about? You were just talking. About I wasn't that. saying that that makes the movie better. No, I'm just saying that's like a thing. That was just goofing you. Um, but I mean, just because I, I love that morality. movie, I have a deep love for that movie. Um, so I have a deep love for you. Thanks. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> Um, eight Plonkins, uh, ten Plonkins. <laughs> Why was the jack o' lantern at the beginning? Why did it look like shit? You had this whole movie, and you were like, "Let me start this opening scene with this shitty ass jack o' lantern." Put a picture up of the shitty jack o' lantern. <laughs> <laughs> missing a foot. So, go back to the last episode and tell me if they had a foot or not, because we, we can't find it. No, but that. Let's give them but a, that makes it interactive. Let's give them a reason to watch the last episode. Because <laughs> no one's going to watch it. Anyway. We'll see you all later. More spooky stuff coming next episode. Coming all over my tits. <laughs> Can't say that on TV. Goodbye.